So here's a multi-stage refrigeration. It has what we call an intercooler. So we have two compressors. Here's I'm going to show it as a power being driven into compressor one and into compressor two. You have one low temperature evaporator. You're interested in Q dot uh, in the evaporator. And you have one high temperature condenser. So you're interested in Q dot. I'll, I'll call it reject. Rejecting the heat somewhere to the atmosphere somehow. Usually that's the application. And what's different is, is you have this mixing chamber here and you're feeding it with saturated vapor that is generated by having an expansion valve drops the pressure so st pressure at state six is some intermediate pressure and there's a flash chamber in this flash chamber you you pipe off the top of it the vapor and then you plumb off or take off the bottom of it which would naturally settle in the bottom the liquid so saturated liquid continues and goes to the next expansion valve so that you're doing uh, some <coughs> uh, as much cooling as possible but this saturated vapor is being mixed with uh, this fluid which is superheated vapor and it's cooling the what is going into st into the compressor the second presser, compressor at state three so it's uh, that's the idea is that this is cooler at the same pressure but it's because it's cooler it's more con compressed it's more dense and so it's easier to boost the pressure of a dense vapor instead of a very light vapor so that's the idea behind it so Again, this flash chamber just allows it to flash. It, it takes off the vapor at the top, the saturated vapor, and the liquid on the bottom. So if we're interested, we need to um, maybe do an energy balance around this mixing chamber. So if you do the energy balance, you'll find that the enthalpy at 3 times the mass flow rate coming out and going toward that second compressor, M.3 is what I'll call it, is the mass flow rate going through state three and into the compressor is equal to the enthalpy at nine mass flow rate from nine plus the enthalpy at two uh, mass flow rate from two. Does that equation look good? And then you ask yourself, okay, well, what is the mass flow rate at nine? And compare that especially to the mass flow rate coming into the flash chamber, which I'll call mass flow rate at six. Well, the mass flow rate at 9 divided by the mass flow rate at 6 is the quality, isn't it? It's the quality at state 6. It's, that's what the mass fraction is. The quality is how much vapor per total amount coming in. You're just drawing off that mass. And uh, then you take a look at M.9. Well, M.9, oh, I'm sorry, M.6, is that the same as M.5 that comes into the top of that about? Yes. The same as what goes through M.4? Yes. How about the same as what goes M.3 into the compressor? Sure, they're all the same mass flow rates, right? So this, this uh, ratio of M.9 coming this way into the mixing chamber divided by M.3, what comes out of that mixing chamber, is the quality at state 6. And then, so if you took this equation and divide by m.3, divide by m.3, divided by m.3, you see that this ratio you can replace by quality at 6. True? Guess what you can replace this ratio by? m.2 over m.3. Same type of game. You say, okay, m.2 is the same as m.1 is the same as m.8, is the same as m.7, true? And the ratio of m.7 divided by m.6 is equal to 1 minus x, 1 minus, so it's how much liquid there is after that first flash um, expansion valve. So, so uh, this can be replaced by that, and uh, 
well, this is m.7 is the same as um, uh, m.2, and m.6 we already showed is the same as m.3, hence that ratio is h2 times 1 minus x6. So to get the enthalpy at 3, you use this equation. Where did it come from? Combination of mass balance and energy balance, but primarily energy balance. Agree? Good. The rest of it is straightforward in, in, in solving. 